Hey guys, all right, welcome to another Mascara Monday where we have the Bold and Sexy Fiber Mascara from Black Radiance, okay? Um, now, there's only one place in my little town that sells Black Radiance products, and that is the CVS. And I hardly ever go there, so they've got a full rack of makeup products that I just never see. But the other day I had remembered that someone had mentioned that their foundation was really good. So I picked that up and I was like, we're trying another mascara as well. I've, I've tried a couple other mascaras from them as well. Um, and their one, I can't remember what it was. I'll try and put it in the description, whichever one I tried before. Um, I've got videos on them. So you can like take a look at those as well. Check um, just check like my mascara Mondays or whatever, but this one looks really cool. It is the, again, bold and sexy fiber mascara. I'm always afraid of fiber mascaras because I don't want any of the little fibers to get in my eye. Um, so it's one of those things. Okay. Whew. All right. So the good news is, is it scrapes that off really well. I can see some of the little fibers and also, um, it's very thick like a cream. Okay. I'm going to wipe the tip off just the tip. Yeah, I think this might be a little too thick and creamy. Um, I'm just getting that feeling. I've, I'm just afraid that like anything that's too thick and creamy won't actually, the product just won't get onto my lashes. And anyway, it's, it's a big issue. So let's just try it and see how it goes. Yeah, it's just having a hard time even just getting on already. So the good news is you probably won't have to wipe the brush off though. I like the brush shape. Um, what do I usually say? Um, if you have a big fluffy brush, then usually it gives you big fluffy lashes. I'm not seeing any fibers really getting onto my lashes at all. And I would say that this is giving me more of a natural look than I had expected. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is just really make sure that the brush is really well coated. And we'll just try it again. Um, what I don't like about the brush though is that it's a little bit flexible and that just never works for me. It just, it makes it more difficult to get the product onto my lashes. So do the other side. And I don't need to wipe this off at all. Usually I would just, just to try it, but at this point, it doesn't need to be wiped off the brush, so. And if I'm being perfectly honest, I'm a little bit worried that this has been sitting in the package on the shelf for years and years and years and is a very old product is what I'm worried about. I might in a little bit check and see if there's some sort of expiration date or shelf life date or something like that and see if I have been the victim of a non-removed product from the shelves. But if that's the case, this is actually looking pretty good. I would call this like an everyday mascara. If you're looking for an everyday mascara, you might really like this one. Um, as a first impression, um, yeah, everyday mascara is what it's looking like to me. Um, my favorite recently, I have rediscovered, I try so many mascaras, so it feels like I haven't used this in a long time, but this is actually one of my newer purchases and trials. This is the She Glam, I can't remember what exactly it's called and it's not written on there, but it's a dual ended volumizing slash lengthening side. Um, what I love about it is the volumizing side, okay? Gives you really good volume, um, but the best part about it is that it stays on forever, will not move or smudge. Like, it it just stays on. And it looks really good too. She Glam has like really inexpensive products, so I really do like this mascara. If you don't wanna order a mascara online, then this one is really good too. This is the Essence Get Big Lashes Volume Boost. I've been really liking this one recently. It does burn my eyes a little bit, but a lot of mascaras do that. So, I mean, 
if you don't have sensitive eyes, you should be fine for that. This one though, inexpensive. It looks good. It's not burning my eyes right now. Um, I don't know. I don't think it's like on my most amazing mascaras list. Um, but it's good. I think it's good. I, again, like I don't, but I don't, I have to be perfectly honest, which means I don't think I'll be going out of my way to repurchase this. I don't think it's bad though. Um, again, natural everyday mascara, if that's what you're looking for. And especially since I've got so many mascaras, like I should not be buying another one, but not terrible. Can we leave it at that? We'll leave it at that. And I apologize if you hear a bunch of hammering and such there is construction going on outside my window but because I'm 43 years old my hot flashes were going crazy so I had to open the window do you get me okay I will see you guys in the next one don't forget to thumbs up like subscribe bye